Okay, so this is the warm up today, third period and sixth period. Um, anyway, yeah, go ahead and watch this and we'll kind of talk about this briefly tomorrow. So uh, anyway, question is what's friction? Hopefully most of you can pause this and analyze it, think about what you know about friction. Um, most of you should know, you've kind of seen this friction as a force. Okay, so it's gonna be abbreviated F and that is a vector, I should put the arrow, force of friction. That's fine. There's not really a situation where you'd use a final force, so you can put F sub F. And of course it is measured in kilogram meters over second squared, which you should know is a Newton. Remember that's not capitalized because you know, it's not his name in that case. All right, now, it has to do with, okay, think about this. You have sandpaper. Let's look kind of blown up side view of sandpaper, something kind of like this, right? Okay, and then think about like a plastic or something like that or like the surface of the table. It might not be perfect if you blow it up, but it'll be kind of like a little bit craggly like that. Now, the difference in these, hopefully that you can see, is that you have more surface area in this sandpaper. Uh, what the surface area does when two things interact with each other, you know that things are like positively, negatively charged because of the electrons um, in them. Hopefully you know that from chemistry. Basically what this does is this creates more interaction with whatever you have on it. We'll have, let me switch colors real quick. You'd have more like say you have this object on this, even if it's just a box with a relatively flat surface, you're going to have more... Um, interaction on this than you would on this as it moves. You've got more kind of like little charges hidden in the cracks on that. Um, let's see. So that is, and there, there's a, this one would be more like rough or more, more frictiony, totally made up word, but it needs to exist. This would be more frictiony because it's got more surface area. And the symbol we use for that is the Greek letter mu. It's like you draw a U, and you put another line on it, it's so lowercase, and that looks like an M and a U, same together, you say it like, it's actually spelled M-U, but you would say, like a kitten, I guess, Mu. Um, and this is called the, I hope I spelled this right, coefficient of friction. All right, now if you know anything about coefficients, they're, they're just a number. This has no units no units because it's just a number it's just a number that says how much more frictiony or not really a word but should be something is so um no units and that's the coefficient of friction so um anyway if you have more of this i would say the coefficient of friction actually i'll do that in the next video